The message uh, by the scientists is clear. We need to act on endocrine disrupting chemicals for the sake of ourselves and you know our children. And I think this is very clear. But it's going to also depend on whether people in the elections are asking for it, whether the public says very clearly, dear candidates, what are you going to do about the chemicals that harm our health? The problem is a complex one, and it's not always easy to explain. And there are also, of course, lots of conflicting interests. So that's where it's slowing down the process. We saw how long it took to actually agree on the first reach. Uh, so I hope now we can be faster than before and really improve it so we can have not gold standard but platinum standard that will both protect our health and environment but also really push forward the competitiveness and innovation of the European economy. I'm always cautious uh, not making all the pillars, pillars of the Green Deal reality. So not only the climate, but also the biodiversity and also the chemical and circular economy, not delivering on them, not delivering on them, on them in a just way, would be a huge disaster for the well-being of all Europeans, for the future of Europe. So I hope that this is something that we will be able to deliver on and continue making uh, Europe better and fit for the future. There is uh, a certain backlash against Green Deal, but I think it's really misguided and, and detrimental to not only health uh, of Europeans, to our environment, but also to the economy uh, and the future readiness of Europe. So I hope that uh, they will not succeed and we will manage to make Europe future fit.